Hi, everybody. Uh, Karen Roby here and Daphne LaFrance Ringay for ZDNet. Uh, having an interesting conversation here, Daphne, uh, about Intel, some uh, a new technology that they're developing uh, with smell. I'm going to let you kind of explain what this is, how it works, and also, uh, you know, what type of branch of science this actually belongs to. Yeah, so what Intel has done, or at least what they say they've done, is uh, successfully reproduce a part of our human brain and put it onto a computer chip and specifically the part of our brain that is responsible for smelling and for understanding what it is that we are smelling. So what they say is that they've developed a chip that can smell without a nose. Um, and so the premise for that was obviously at first to understand how the human brain smells. So what happens when you smell is that you stimulate up to 450 different types of olfactory sensors that sit inside your nose and they get stimulated by airborne molecules. Um, and so certain of these senses will be stimulated by certain molecules, they'll send a signal to the brain and then in the brain, um, this transforms into an electrical pulse within a web of interconnected neurons and the brain reads those electrical pulses and understands what it is that you're smelling. Um, what the brain does also is that it draws on previous experience and it cross references new information so that even if you're coming across something new, some new information, it can still sort of identify what it is that you're smelling. And ultimately, our human brain can, um, in this way, using these electrical pulses and reading those electrical pulses patterns, it can identify between trillions of different smells. So it's quite easy to see here why there's potential to sort of draw an algorithm just from the idea of input output, electrical pulses patterns, um, output, identifying what it is that you're smelling. So that's exactly what Intel's team did. Um, they created an algorithm that just like the brain can read those patterns of electrical pulses, can read patterns and transform them into different, well, transform them into identifying different smells. Um, so they sort of created an artificial network um, of neural, uh, an artificial neural network, sorry, based on the neural networks going on inside our brains um, that is capable of identify, identifying certain patterns and uh, associating them to different smells. All right, really interesting uh, stuff there, Daphne. And can you go in a little bit more detail in terms of uh, exactly what it can and can't do potentially? Yeah, obviously. So obviously the, the brain, as I said, can differentiate between trillions of different scents. That's not something that the computer chip can do just yet. Um, to start with, Intel's researchers allowed the chip to differentiate between 10 different smells. To do that, they took a wind tunnel, they put 72 chemical sensors in the tunnel, and then they circulated those 10 different smells that they picked. So that includes methane, um, acetone, and they circulated those scents through the tunnel and observed how the chemical sensors were reacting. So obviously different smells stimulated different chemical reactors, uh, sensors, um, and they recorded that, they made it into a data set, and that's the data set that they fed the chip. So the chip, based on those reactions and on those patterns of reaction, is able to identify between the different, um, the 10 different scents that, um, that the researchers have been working with. Um, so the big thing to remember here is obviously that it's not just able to detect those smells because that's something that technology already allows us to do. You could, to a certain extent, say, you know, my carbon monoxide detector can do that just fine. It, it can detect a scent and be, um, when, it, when it detects it. Um, but what the computer chip does is not just detect, it doesn't just react and beep, it's able to actually identify which sense it is that is that is smelling. So that's the big sort of leap there in the sense that it's reproducing what we do in our brains, which is not just understand that there is a smell, but also understand what smell it is that we are smelling. Very good. And do they know, have they, they stated what, you know, in terms of use cases or, uh, you know, where we can expect to see this at play? So obviously the carbon monoxide detector example is quite relevant in this case because it could be used to detect hazardous smells and hazardous um, substances and odors. Uh, so you can imagine the implications, for, for example, for airport security lines, uh, making sure that illegal materials and illegal um, substances aren't uh, circulating in airports and so on. But more importantly, I think the, the main advancement here is in the general field of uh, neuromorphic computing, which is a specific branch of science that says that we should um, advance computing by modeling what's happening inside the human brain. So um, sort of pick the way the brain works and put that onto a computer chip, which is what Intel has done, that, done there. Um, and it's something that Intel is particularly dedicated to and has been working on for a number of years now. Um, and researchers from Intel's team that have been working on this chip that can smell 
um, have said that the applications of this type of technology and of this type of algorithm could be wide ranging and they're already looking at potentially, for example, understanding the way we make decisions and transforming that into algorithms um, and then putting that onto chips just like they did with this technology. Excellent. All right. Some really interesting uh, things going on there, uh, certainly Daphne. And uh, obviously for, for much more information, our audience there can uh, read much more in your article on ZDNet. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you.